Hi folks, this is Ed Castañeda for MusicaNewYork.com. This is Donde Esta La Musica. Tonight we're at SOB's in New York City where Grupo Arcano is performing. Don't go away. We've got lots of good music. We have dancers. We're going to interview the band. And most of all, we're going to have a great time. So stay right where you are. Okay, folks, I'm back with George from Grupo Alcano or Alcano? Alcano. Alcano. Right. Oh, okay. So you're, you're the uh, leader of the I'm band? The, I'm the director of the band, yes. Director of the band. Right. And this is? This is my father, George Villa Senior. Senior. <laughs> He's uh, one of our vocalists. And this is Anthony Almonte, our other vocalist, El Conguero. Okay, chévere, chévere. Can you tell me a little bit about your, your band? You know, how, how did you uh, uh, put the music? Well, first tell me about your music. Um, 
Oh, I mean, our, our music is I mean, from the heart. You know, all the arrangements and the, the lyrics are written from within the band. Uh, all the compositions are from within the band. Uh, everyone gets to kind of give input. Uh, what, we, what we strive to do without really thinking about it was to um, just always, like everyone, try to make a fresh sound, mm -hmm. um, but still kind of capture what everyone considers the golden era, which was the late 60s into the 70s. Yeah. Okay, if anybody wants to add anything, well, yeah, you well, know. We, originally, we, he set out to make like a wedding band, play copies and stuff like that, yeah. and uh, it just evolved into what we have now. And then one of the latest pieces of the puzzles that came in was Mr. Anthony here, and that just, <laughs> it just, it's doing what we're doing today, and it's, the people like it. We got people there from Pennsylvania, New Jersey that came to see us, and then we're doing good. We're, we're, having a, we're having a ball. Oh, yeah, yeah. Now, uh, Anthony, you're the singer. You're also the conguero. Yes, uh, co-singer and then conguero as well. He's the he's the lead singer. He's the lead singer. <laughs> yeah, he's the lead singer, okay. which is heaven sent. I tell you. Okay. It is. And you guys are all New Yorkers. Uh, yes, yeah, Puerto Rican New Yorkers. You know, just different areas from yeah, New York. Yeah. You got Brooklyn, Queens. There's a few. I'm from the Bronx. I'm the only one representing the Bronx. I think. Right. So I'm representing hard right. <laughs> for my Bronx people. But the foundation was Brooklyn and Queens. Yeah, Brooklyn and Queens. Okay. How, how did you get that? Well, let's first go to him. Right, of course. Uh, George Senior, how did you get interested in music? Oh, well, I, I'm a musician since I was 15 years old. I've been play, I play trombone. Mm -hmm. And maybe a little later on you'll sample a little bit. Of, uh, I've been playing trombone by ear, though. I don't read music. And uh, eventually I've always played, moved to Puerto Rico. I played out there with a couple of bands. Came back, uh, did an album that was... Great. No, but it's, I, yeah, I just playing trombone. I just saw somebody play trombone. Uh, my mom gave me 35 bucks. I bought the first trombone and kept on going. I didn't think my son would ever be a musician. And uh, he's a 10 times better musician than I am. And I'm, you know, I'm grateful for that. He doesn't give you know, himself credit, by the yeah, way. No, no, no. Yeah, no, no. But I write a lot of the lyrics in the band, which I like. And I like that he's singing those lyrics. You know, so it's good. It's all good. I enjoy it. Okay, who are your idols? Um, I'm, well, um, to me personally, uh, being that I'm a brass man, um, I'll go with Eddie Palmieri because he had my idol there, Barry Rogers, who's no longer around. But uh, yeah, I, I'll stick to the New York salsa bands, yeah. you know. Yeah, any, 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 other, any other specifics? Uh, uh, Larry Harlow. I've always liked Larry Harlow, and I was born to play in that band. But uh, I guess he didn't know about it because I'm still here. So, uh, Barry, if you're out there. You know. <laughs> and George, how about you? Um, what's the question? Uh, <laughs> Who, my no, idols, or how did I get yeah, into it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, your idols. Oh, my idols, good. Um, well, it's interesting because I, even though Latin music was in the house all the time, I didn't steer towards Latin music. I was more of like a like English pop, hard rock, hard rock, heavy metal. But in, in Latin music, more recently, since the band's been playing, it's Sonora Ponceña um, and, uh, and Richie Ray and Bobby Cruz, which is why we also kind of honor them by playing one of their tunes. Spanish Harlem. In, you know. Spanish, Spanish Harlem, I like them. Um, for contemporaries, but as, as far as idols, it'd be, it'd be Ponceña in, in all aspects. Yeah. Yeah. It'd be yeah, Papa Luca and, yeah. and Kike. And yeah. Anthony, how did, how, did you get, how did you get started? Uh, in the music, uh, well, in my house, we've always played Latin music. Uh, my parents aren't musicians, by all means, and uh, they dance. They dance salsa. They love to dance salsa. Good mechanic. And, yeah. <laughs> and uh, I mean... Ever since I was a little kid, I started, I picked up the congas when I was six years old. Uh, my brother, who's four years older than me, picked up the timbales. And uh, we we played together, I mean, up until now. And, uh, I mean, that's how I started. And, you know, I started taking it a little more serious while I was getting older and stuff. Then when I, you know, seeing Grupo Arcano, as a matter of fact, Juan, the timbalero, was the one who called me. We used to play with the supper band. And um, I went to see them at B.B. King's. But I came in just as the conguero at first. I wasn't the conguero and singer. Uh, there was another singer in the group already. Uh, and then... And how, how did that start, the singing? Uh, well, weird, actually. I started singing very recently, about two, three years ago. Um, I started singing funk music. I'm a huge fan of Tower of Power, huge fan. And uh, funk was, you know, I was studying jazz and funk at the time at Legan School of Music. And... Uh, that's when I just picked up the vocals, you know, they kind of heard that voice in me and they were like, ah, oh, you should just sing and just threw me out there. And uh, I still had the, the salsa in me, you know, from my house and growing up listening to the salsa with my parents. So I, I did the transition and it was smooth, thankfully. Yeah. <laughs> so far. So, so how long has the uh, group been together? The group this week is five years together. Um, and 
it, like like my father said, we didn't plan on doing anything serious. It was just a wedding band, a, a, a Sweet Sixteen band, a Happy Birthday band, like that. And then uh, about about four years ago, uh, SOBs gave us an opportunity to play, and we performed. And when we were done, uh, we were told, you know, your band is really good, but you can't return unless you have original music. And so I figured, you know. The band's been together a little over a year. I've invested a lot of time, a lot of money. Uh, why not give it a shot? I mean, I don't want to grow old and then say I, sh I should have, could have, would have, like that. So s slowly we started putting material together, and then uh, it took it. We released an album last summer. It which took you, you have which I you have, yes. It's, it's, show it, uh, it's uh, Desde el Otro Lado del East River, from the other side of the East mm -hmm. River, because the majority of us are from Brooklyn and Queens. Um, and it took me two and a half years to, to pay it off. And, mm -hmm. and so far, it's doing really well. And uh, uh, in our next set, we're going to de debut one or two songs that hopefully will make our second album. Okay, so uh, where is it available? It is uh, available, well, first online on our website, gruparcano.com, one word, G-R-U-P-O-A-R-C-A-N-O.com. Um, and all the links to all the online stores are there. If, uh, if you're in Manhattan, you can visit um, El Barrio Music Center on Lexington and uh, 116th Street. Uh, he carries them there as far as record shops that are here locally. But online, you can find it anywhere. Okay, that's all the time we have. Sure. So. Uh, let's go upstairs and listen to some more music. Excellent, sounds great. And sounds it's a uh, pleasure talking to you guys. Thank, thank you, you so much. Pleasure's ours, really. Thank pleasure you very much. And so keep much. up the good music. Thank, thank you very much. All right, much. and we'll see you upstairs. Excellent. Thank you. That's it, folks. Thanks for watching. This is Ed Castaneda for MusicaNewYork.com. Till next time.